hey everybody it's faith from fire sign tarot hope everybody's well so you're gonna get the short version of a long story i know what you're thinking faith where the heck have you been i had to take a journey i had to take a step back there's things i had to do um back last june and those of you who've been following the channel for a while know that i have a regular full-time job that pays my bills and feeds my kid and keeps a roof over our heads. It is not YouTube. This was a journey that I started to convey messages to the people that needed them and possibly someday finance my retirement when I am physically no longer able to do the bread and butter job, but neither here nor there. Long story short, last June, my boss at that bread and butter job um, had an accident and she was not able to work. So that meant I had to work more hours and I kind of had to step up and take charge and just keep that place running. And it was, it, it was an energetic nightmare to say the least. It, it was a nightmare. I didn't have energy or time to read cards, even if I would have wanted to. Even if I had the time, I didn't have the energy. I just wanted to come home and melt in the chair or go to bed. And it was constant phone calls and questions and not being able to see my son because I was literally always at work. Well, fast forward through the summer as the gray hairs are coming in. Come fall, my boss decided she didn't want to come back. And she needed to go on a journey of her own because she came to the realization of what was important to her in her life and her purpose and it was not that job anymore so they popped the question on me do you want the job and i very reluctantly took it and no regrets whatsoever i i, I love that job i love what i do but it left very little time for this for a while. So now that things have settled down and I have the time for it, when the messages need to come out, when I get the itch, and I've been getting the itch a lot more, getting that itch, I'll post. Like I said, YouTube isn't my full-time job. It's not my paycheck. It's the messages that need to come out to those who need them is why I do this. So that's the story. And I know I have more blotches. I'm not wearing any makeup. The gray hairs have come in and I earned every single one of these and I'm not covering them up. So if you don't like it, don't watch. Anyway. All right. This is going to be for whoever needs it. It's not a cycle reading. It's any sun, moon, rising, or Venus. If you have stumbled upon this and it vibes with you, it's yours. So, whoever needs it. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask that you be with me to help me convey the messages that I need to convey to have the clarity of mind and the peace of heart to speak what I need to speak and see what I need to see and hear what I need to hear for whoever needs this today. I thank you for being with me. Let's read. Okay. One we're going to show, one we're going to hold to the end. From the Wisdom Oracle, one we're going to show, one we're going to hold. Oh, you decided you wanted to show yourself. Orphaned. Oh my. Hold that to the end. Orphaned. It's a five, so it's a transition. A sense of loss, an identity crisis, recognizing that you don't fit in, the need to belong, uncertainty about your place. Oh, wow. We'll pull 
pull more advice off of that if we need it. Somebody has a feeling of uncertainty. They're placed in a situation. Okay. Oh, pick a deck, any deck. Yeah, I'm not feeling like talking right now, y'all. Okay. What do I need to see? Fire, earth, air, water. What do I need to see? Fire, earth, air, water. This isn't about what we want to see or hear. This is about what we need to see or hear. Speaking truth. Fire, earth, air, water. Speak the truth. The truth. Seven Swords. Oh, we'll get clarity on that. He holds what he holds, but he looks back star. Okay. The star, the process of healing. Hanged, hanging man. Mm. The process of... Don't say it yet. Because it's one of two things. It's being stuck. Seeing things from a new perspective. Actually, three things. Seeing things from a new perspective. Being stuck. hung upside down. Let me get clarity. Death reversed. You're stuck. And yes, I read reversals. You're stuck. bottom of the deck, Ace of Wands. There's an opportunity here. There's an opportunity for something new. But you're stuck. You healed, but did you really? Did you really? This is the place you're in right now. Orphaned. Abandoned. Not knowing your place. Clarity. Let's get a little clarity, shall we? <sighs> Good old Rider Wait. Why not? It's classic. Easy to read. I like the classics. Talk to me. Fire, earth, air, water. Talk to me. Fire, earth, air, water. Talk to me. Clarity. Clarity on the truth. Clarity. Seven of swords. What's this about? It could be lies and deception. Oh, hi. Oh, it hit the floor. It might be important. Hold on. Oh. What are you? I don't think two of you fell out. All right, I'm going to put it back, but we're going to take a look at it first. Three of Pentacles reversed. Something didn't come together. Something didn't work out. We're going to put it back. But if it applies to your situation, it will come back out. 
Something didn't come together. Somebody walked away. Could have been lies and deception, but it sent you down a path. It sent you down a path toward healing. What's the star? Talk to me about the star. Talk to me about the star. Hi. Ooh, you did a little flip. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Eight of cups. You put a lot of emotion into whatever this was. You had to walk away. You invested a lot of energy and emotion. But you had to walk away so you could heal. Sometimes you have to take a step back. See things from a new perspective. Or at least try to. I'm going to get one more on that because... This says you're still there. And this is telling me that part of you is still there. Why? One more. One more. Six of wands reversed. There was no victory. There was no victory. It didn't work out. You didn't get your victory dance. You know, sometimes things don't work out because they weren't meant to. Sometimes things don't work out because they weren't meant to. The hanged man. It's the hanged man. It's the hanging man all about. Talk to me about this hanging man. Page of cups reversed. Covers reversed. Oh gosh. I'm hearing the word closure. Somebody didn't get closure. Something got left behind. There's no closure. You were thrust into this healing journey against your will. There's no closure. You're stuck. Not knowing your place. This could have been recent. This could have been a while ago. Why is death reverse tie? Oh! Judgment? Ten of what? Do you know what that is? That's the release of a burden so something new can begin. Judgment and the Ten of Wands. Talk to me about judgment. Judgment can be a card of resurrection. Hierophant. Could involve a Taurus. Temperance reversed. Six of Pentacles reversed. You just want to know why. You just want to know why. Yeah, the hair if it marries people, I, I'm not feeling that. I, I'm feeling it's it's the conversation, it's the enlightenment. He's also the teacher of life lessons. Uh, 
upheaval, impatience, inequality. You just, you want to know why. Closure. Is closure coming? I don't know. Hangman reversed. I'm going to take that as getting unstuck. Getting out of the gallows. Okay. So I feel like for some of you, conversation might take place. The resurrection, so you can make a final judgment call on a situation to finally release a burden. Go off on something that you're passionate about. Oh, Page of Cups reversed again. But the Queen of Cups is in the upright. And then the Magician has decided to join us. Hmm. Okay. The Magician has all the tools to manifest whatever the heck they want. But you gotta get unstuck first. You finally need to heal. I kind of get a feeling that some of you might get sucked back in. Because I feel like they left with the intention of someday returning, if that's your story. This feels so thief, thief in the night. Opportunistic a little bit. But I feel like some of you are ready to hear truth and speak your truth. To end the burden. Finally let that connection come in. You want to come in. But you gotta be patient. Right now you're in a place of impatience. But your impatience will prevent you from moving forward. Okay, friends. <sighs> Deep knowing. Number 43. Sometimes we get so hurt and so taken back by situations, by people in our lives. It's, an, it's almost an emotional codependency thing. Did you fall in love with the person or the idea of the person being there? That's what you got to ask yourself. Intuition, listening to the oracle within. Empathy, hypersensitivity. Intuition is the faculty that allows you to enter into dialogue with source, the consciousness that you are a part of, but cannot see with the naked eye. It's perplex perplexing that people are taught to ignore this natural capacity to navigate their journeys, to access their guidance. Know that you have an ability to read between the lines and find all the truth that was missing when the story was told. Know that you have an ability to read between the lines and find all the truth that was missing when the story was told. This deep knowing allows you to open the door to wisdom far greater than what is available in the limitations of the human experience. You're given information that may make no sense whatsoever to the logical mind or five senses, but which is 100% correct and true. The trick is to listen, then act accordingly. You're invited into this sacred dialogue of knowing so tune in and trust your vibes. They will be right. Ask and you will receive answers from unusual sources.
friends. I don't know who that was for. I don't know who needed to hear it. Whatever your sign, sun, moon, rising, Venus, if it vibed with you, it's yours. Take it and be blessed. Know that you are loved unconditionally. We'll talk soon. Take care.